getting my start in music. Um, you know, I started pretty young uh, in terms of being on stage. I was a little kid. I, I think I was in like Pirates of Penzance when I was like four years old. I just loved being on stage, being active, singing, everything. But then, you know, as I got a little bit older, but still pretty young, I, you know, there's bullying when you grow up and jokes are always being thrown around, especially in like a New York elementary school. Um, and so when that would happen, I, I noticed around that time I had like this affinity for making rhymes, uh, words rhyme. And I was watching shows like Yo Mama and, uh, and like Wild and Out was coming out and I was like, yo, I could really get these boys. So like, let me just start rap battling. Um, and so that was kind of where I, uh, I start, first started rapping. And um, from there, it was just a love for hip hop music. I, I had a sister who, who I, I love very dearly, who's eight years older than me, and, and she put me onto so much music, so much hip hop. I remember when she gave me like the Get Rich or Die Trying album, I was like, I wanna make music like this. So fast forward a few years, I started recording. Um, and now, you know, it's just become a refined process. Um, you know, my friends always joke on me when they see me like writing, like if anyone is around for that, right? Like I'll pace around a room. I, I think we we looked it up the other day. Like I got you know my little Fitbit, not even the Apple Watch, because it's got ball on a budget. Um, and I did like thirteen thousand steps just writing in like an hour because um, I like to pace and I like to keep my mind active. And it's funny because like all that rap battling made me an incredible freestyle rapper, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, so I can go off top, but I'm very proud of my pen. So like. My process now, um, in terms of making music, is always just kind of finding that sweet spot and really honing in on the music. Because I've taken breaks, like I was kind of getting after it, really trying to be the next big thing, and, I, and we had some success. We had some viral songs on SoundCloud, we were making music in high school, college. Um, but I just kind of burned out a little bit. I got away from the creativity a little too into the business without really knowing what I was doing. Um, but then after a short break, like these past few years, like these past two, three years, I've really seen tremendous growth just from like honing in on my process, making songs that I want to listen to, not being afraid to not release certain music and not always feeling the pressure. Um, because I made that a conscious decision, you know, like tried to go out of my way to get a, a job that would be remote where I could make some money to pay the bills. And then my back's not against the wall when I'm doing music. Um, and so with that, uh, you know, it really just helped me make the music I want to make. And I think from that, it freed up more time to kind of figure out some marketing and, and making my music uh, reach wider audiences. And uh, I really think the quality is what shines. So, you know, at this stage, my inspiration um, has kind of evolved. You know, like I, early on, my inspiration was just being the best, you know, and like trying to be better than whoever was bullying me at school or, or, or even if my friends are just joking on me and then it was about like impressing women, you know, and making lots of songs for women and always trying to be that playboy. Um, and that was always, it was a very, like a lot of bravado was in my music and then it was, you know, and then it just be kind of became my friends because our process of creating, like my friends produce my beats, like my friends design my clothes, like we are all so creative and talented that like my inspiration just came from all of them. like. My hometown needs this story to be told, and today might not be the day, but you know, I hope that with the, where I see myself, where I see us, with the resources we'll have to give y'all that documentary to really dive into that story because those people are who inspire me. I, I grew up in a, in a town where some people have a lot um, and some people have very little, and always kind of being in the middle and seeing both sides of that, but having the support system of like my family and my talent, um, and, and just my ability to do what I do, I think put me in a position that I really could be that person that, that um, you know, helps all of these voices be heard. So at the end of the day, my biggest inspiration is my people and um, I love y'all. So cheers to you.